Everything that people put out there is like the best version of themselves. They just put out what they want people to perceive them as and it's, it's fake, <laughs> like, I don't know. Lizzie McIntosh is part of the 92% of people we polled whose body image is affected by social media. Okay, so my kind of like, I like to call it my journey, kind of started freshman year. I mean, obviously I had bad days before that and I had those like, um, times where I kind of could feel that something was off. Social media looks good on paper, but in terms of execution, the mental effects can be brutal. But freshman year was the time where like it really started kind of going downhill. High schoolers nowadays are prime bait for the predator that is mental illness. So I think it's affected me by like, kind of just, I think, yeah. Mental illness can affect your physical being as well and like stuff that be, was easy for me and stuff that I loved like volleyball and hanging out with my friends like it just started becoming like hard for me to do. Help is just around the corner. And then like I, I do see a therapist and that's like a great way to talk to someone and professional help. Sometimes professional help isn't always achievable but there are other options. Not everyone can afford a therapist even though there are counselors at school um, which is like a great way to someone to talk to because they're trusting. I'm Casey Souter, and I'm one of the school counselors here at Rockford. Once you make that appointment and you, you're back in the room with your counselor, you'll find that we're normal people just like you, and we've been through some struggles as well and are happy to connect with you and, and help be a safe place to process that. Journaling is huge. I write down just random things that happen to me throughout the day just so I can remember all the good things. So we appreciate the good times. But then I write down the bad because then it makes those good things so much like better. But that can help us through some of the darker times too when we know that this too shall pass and that there are people here that are ready to support you. Lizzie's journey goes to show just how capable anyone can be with learning to love themselves inside and out. Negative body image and mental illness doesn't define you but it is like a part of who you are, I guess. Something that's really important to remember is that no feeling and no emotion lasts forever. You're not alone.